Warren Joseph is just getting to know his son. He was locked up by the U.S. government while fighting deportation to Trinidad and missed three years of birthdays for his four American-born children. There's a lot in the news about Guantanamo inmates who were detained indefinitely without due process. But we don't hear much about what's happening to lawful immigrants with long U.S. ties. Their detentions are indefinite, too. If a green card holder commits a crime, they're automatically up for deportation. It doesn't matter if the crime was minor, happened years ago, or they already served their time. The government can lock them up for as long as the deportation process takes. So we're talking about months, if not years, while cases work their way through the system. And the government is saying, in all of these different cases, these people can be detained, and they're not going to get a hearing on the question of whether their detention is necessary or justified. Detention is meant for flight risks and individuals who pose a danger. But what about the thousands like Warren Joseph with minor infractions and otherwise solid backgrounds? I do believe any crime committed deserves uh, some sort of punishment. And I, I felt that the punishment should not go to the point where I should have been in immigration detention. I think one of the clearest hardships that Warren suffered as a result of his detention was his three-year-long separation from his family. And so those American kids were denied a father because the government locks people up without giving them a hearing. Warren immigrated from Trinidad at 21 and lived his entire adult life in the U.S. He had a family and joined the Army. He was a decorated Gulf War veteran and served eight years. When I came to this country, it took me only three months before I joined the military. America, as far as I know, is the only country that enlists immigrants without giving them citizenship. There was a time I was on the color guard where you had to hoist the flag up every day. You would have to fold it up and you had to hold it to your chest. And I can recall the feeling in my soul, not in my heart, but in my soul. And I felt from then forth that I was an American. Post-traumatic stress from military service led him to abuse alcohol and drugs. I was suffering from nightmares, cold sweats, the sight of blood, anything that was in line or aligned with, with, with war and destruction, it, 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 it scared me. Warren sold an illegal firearm to cover a debt and served six months in jail for his crime. But it was used as reason to deport him. He would be detained three years without a bond hearing before winning his case. Warren is someone who, you know, posed no danger to anyone. Um, his crimes are nonviolent. He had already served his probation. And at the end of the day, he won his immigration case. When we lock people up for prolonged periods of time, months or even years, we need to give them a hearing where the government has to explain why their detention is actually justified. And where the government can't explain how people are a flight risk or a danger to the community, we have an obligation to let those people go so they can fight their immigration cases from outside of detention. So Warren won in the end, but at what cost? It became complicated for my kids to wake up in the morning and not see their father there. Even though I'm free right now, I still have to keep my head on because I, I am afraid that sometime they're going to come and try to take me again. So I, I have to use every minute and every opportunity to have a great relationship with my kids.